It is important that we comfort each other now and in the weeks to come as we mourn together. Dr. Sowers Klaus Chirima was a good man, a devoted father and husband, a patriotic citizen who served his country with distinction, and a formidable vice president. I consider it one of the greatest honors of my life to have had him as my deputy and counselor for the past four years. And his passing is a terrible loss to his wife, Mary, his family, his friends, his colleagues in the cabinet, and to all of us as a nation that found his leadership and courage a source of inspiration. That was Malawi's President Lazarus Chakuera speaking to the nation today as he confirmed that Vice President Saulos Chalima was killed in a plane crash in bad weather. Hundreds of soldiers, police officers, and forest rangers began searching after the plane went missing Monday morning while making the 45-minute flight from the southern African nation's capital, Lilongwe, to the city of Mzuzu, around 370 kilometers away. For more on Vice President Chelima's death, I spoke a short time ago with journalist Lamek Masina in Lilongwe. I first asked them to update us on what is known about the crash. The, the plane which um, the Vice President uh, Saulus Chelima boarded uh, appeared uh, yesterday, or Monday. Uh, this was in northern Malawi where he went to attend a funeral of, um, of the former cabinet minister. But it failed to land because uh, of weather condition. But so when it was returning back, that's uh, when the aviation officials said it was not uh, showing on, on the ladder. And uh, so uh, it couldn't be traced. So the search started a few hours later until the whole of night yesterday. But today morning, that's when the state president, Lazarus Chakwera, announced that uh, the plane has been found. And um, it was found in a hill in northern Malawi, in a forest, in fact, near a hill. And it crashed. All the passengers uh, were killed uh, because of the impact, according to the president. Okay, Lamek, uh, how many people were in the plane? The plane uh, carried 10 people, uh, including the vice president. Uh, but uh, all these people were uh, the members of the opposition, United uh, Transformation Movement Party. It's the party which is the, uh, led by the vice president. And also, Lamek, uh, the former first lady, Shanil Zimbiri, the ex-wife of former President Bakili Muluzi, was also on the plane. Yes, he was on the plane. And uh, why he was on the plane is because she is a member of uh, Chirima's party, the UTM. So as I have already uh, stated, uh, they, they accompanied their president, their party's president, president to the funeral. Now that you have mentioned the Chilima's United Transformation Movement political party, uh, the party is actually criticizing the government response as slow and said there was no transponder on the plane. And that was concerning for an aircraft carrying a high-level delegation. Yes, it was concerning indeed. But the, 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 the issue is... Um... Because the same, the, same, the same aircraft is the one which carried the cabinet uh, minister who, who was dead. It was the uh, hours before. It was the star. Now, we don't know if uh, even at that time it didn't have the transponder. We don't know. And the state president, even the state president, uh, Lazarus Chakwera, has said he has been using the same aircraft in the past. And Lameka... Who is Saulos Chalima? Tell us a little about the vice president. Saulos Chalima, according to official information, was born in 1973. Uh, he was first sworn in as the vice president of the Republic of Malawi uh, in 2014. And later, 
Oh, that was the time when he was uh, with um, when the the country was led by the late by, by Peter Mutarika. And also in 2020, he became the, 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 the president now when he joined uh, 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 in a coalition with the current vice president, Lazarus uh, Chaukwera. And uh, you are there. Uh, I need to know about the reaction of this tragedy on the country, both among ordinary people and also among the leadership. Talk to us a little about that. Uh, the tragedy has come as a shock. It's uh, something which uh, uh, Malawians uh, were, 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 were not expecting to happen in this way. In the videos posted in social media, uh, Bene were, were, were literally crying when they, they, they heard about the news. And also, even the state president today, when he was delivering uh, the announcement that uh, uh, the plane has found and uh, 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 all the passengers there uh, have been killed. He was uh, wiping tears. It's a somber mood here in Malawi, and uh, there's a shock all over the country. That was reporter Lamek Masina speaking with me by phone from Ling Longwe. Members of the ruling NRM Central Executive Committee SEC on Tuesday halted the approval of names of MPs submitted to lead the sectoral committees of parliament and instead subjected them to a thoroughly corruption aptitude test. President Museveni excused himself from yesterday's SEC meeting, effectively making the first national vice chairperson, Moses Ikigongo, known to be tough on the current parliament leadership to chair the gathering. The meeting was furnished with a list of dozens of MPs to be designated as the committee chairpersons and deputy chairpersons of the 15th Sectoral Committee of Parliament. Previously, SEC would sit for formality and summarily approve all the names, but Tuesday's meeting, a day after three party members were detained over corruption-related cases, took a very different direction. The names received from the party leadership in parliament have been subjected to a three-day thorough security check to establish current or previous moral conduct of the nominees. SEC had always been reluctant on the committee leadership since parliament is headed by the NRM members, but our trust has been abused. We need to take full charge now, the source said. SEC will converge again on Friday morning to decide on the nominees after perusing the security report on them. The NRM Director of Communication, Emmanuel Dombo, confirmed the development to our report on Tuesday evening. He said, Yes, SEG had a meeting today chaired by our first national vice chairman. The agenda was, to, was on the committee leadership of parliament and another sitting will be on Friday to conclude. The committees include agriculture, national industry and fisheries, defense and internal affairs, East African Committee affairs, education and sports, environment and natural resources, finance, planning and economic development, foreign affairs and gender, labor and social development. Others are the Committee on Health, Information, Communication, Technology and National Guidance, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, Presidential Affairs, Public Service and Local Government, Tourism, Trade and Industry and Committee on Physical Infrastructure. Police on Monday detained the legal committee vice chairperson Yusuf Motembuli, Rengo Woman MP CC Namuju and Busiki County MP Paul Akamba and they are expected to be arraigned before the anti-corruption court magistrate on Wednesday and subsequently remanded to Ruzira Maximum Security Prison. All the arrested lawmakers belong to the ruling NRM party. The arrest followed the re 
Revelation made by Museveni on Thursday during the State of the Nation address that there is proof against the corrupt government officials starting from the Ministry of Finance to Parliament. President Museveni said, I have been hearing that from the Ministry of Finance. They corrupted with the accounting officers of ministries to come to parliament working with some people there in the parliament to provide certain funds provided you take a share i didn't believe this but now i have proof thank you so much for watching and peace